This is Darth Raven 07 coming at you with another Transformers quick review. This time of none of the Titan Returns Target. And that's, you know, it's based off of the old Headmasters. This is uh, Slug Slinger and Caliburst. I'm going to take a quick look at Caliburst real quick. And uh, right here we have Caliburst with a little bit of paint on his eyes there. Uh, these, Heads always done, the heads on these Titan Return figures were always done with the most care and respect. The, I feel that they should have made these guys a little bit more articulated. That would have been going a long way for a lot of folks spending, you know, 14 and $15 or even when they bought the price at the 19 to feel like they were getting something else for their figures. Because what we were getting with the Titan's turns line was, uh, Transformers that had these little guys become the heads. So it's a headless transformer essentially uh, Most of these were done with some great care and love uh, as you can see he fits nice into the cockpit there and then He should be able to close Well, if I get it in there fully <laughs> Now I'm not gonna be able to get this to go Had this to go. There we go. He's right there in his cockpit, like looking out. Uh, really nice day. He's got his own little window there. Uh, love any of the jets that have the dual uh, back end thruster pieces and stuff. And the, these 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 were more Cybertronian jets than anything uh, that we've seen. With we got the siege that remind me of the battle. Uh, Star Wars, I mean Battlestar Galactica. Um, I called it Battle Star Wars as a kid. Uh, Star Wars was a big part of my life, and so whenever they had Battle Star Galactica on TV, Dad used to make fun or you know remind me. Oh, I thought it was Battle Star Wars, son. But anyway, Battle Star Wars. They had those little good guy ships that fought the the Cylon Raiders or whatever. I think it was the Viper. The Viper is what uh, the model looks like. Uh, <laughs> for the uh, siege uh, seekers. And it's not a bad thing or anything, but then you got uh, twin cockpit jets. Uh, you had other kind of crazy, uh, you had uh, trigger happy misfire and this guy Slug Singer. Slug Singers is probably my favorite of the trio. Uh, just love anything that's got jet modes with little cool, I mean, uh, design features. And, and these are tempoed, these are not stickers. Uh, I just love the way that these turned out or what have you. I'm going to uh, get this guy a pause, get this guy in a robot mode, and finish off the review. Uh, with a little warning with, with this guy in particular, and I accidentally did this, so I just want to show you. On this side is a tab. It still tabs in, and this figure is still good, and it still holds together. But I accidentally broke this in the transformation one of the first times I had it, so a little buyer beware warning. Just be careful with the tabs when you go into the transformations with these guys. And... Uh, Anyway, this is still a solid, excellent figure, and uh, I'm going to get this guy into his excellent robot mode. And here, Slug Singer in his excellent robot mode signs the weapons. I actually give the extra set of weapons, and they're still in storage with another Slug Singer that does not have the broke tab I was telling you about on the wrist. I mean, that's the only thing that looks different on this first rendition of it, of what I got. So, uh, basically... He has no wrist swivels because of the way these fold in, but he's got all the other uh, elbow, the swivel, the shoulders, got you know all the range in the world that you'd want out of a, a Seeker trio. I do love the these Headmaster uh, trio uh, Seekers here. Uh, trigger Happy is what I got a couple of Christmases before, or actually Christmas before. I, uh, like a whole year before I got a hold of the Slug Slinger. Slug Slinger was like toward the end of the, the line, like a lot of the uh, other figures for uh, Siege is going on right now. I hate the end of the lines because it's harder to get a hold of some figures. So naturally I snagged another one once I broke this one to to have one that was really good. And this was this is the one I roughhouse and play with. Uh, take it with me places is very uh, easy to go easy to pack up and go I don't worry if something else gets broke because he's already got a broke spot <laughs> and uh, but it's still it, it holds together in both jet and robot modes solidly uh, he had a couple of blasters 
that was not you know symmetrical they were separate so i added all those to the other slug slinger and uh there's his head swivel for the titans return headmasters they just this is about all they could get and no up and down due to that backside. but i love how the silhouette does of the does a hat tip to the original seekers with those intakes you got two nose cones on him and uh this looks really uh, marvelous in my opinion i love the colors of slug slinger even though they're not exactly g1 i want to say there was a darker or lighter kind of thing going on uh but like each of the each of these titans return seekers they they uh have similar uh, transformations. I want to say Trigger Happy was the most sophisticated. They they kind of took uh, and retooled, remolded the Misfire to where it doesn't do the stuff. But this whole bottom half is something they all share in common. Even though Misfire uh, doesn't have the same transformation, I want to say Sequence. I'll get him out of stasis when I get around to him. I'll get him out here and show you what I'm talking about. But uh, just all around, uh, the Titans Return Seekers were Cybertronian formed jets that I just absolutely love. This guy kind of reminds me, with his wings flared out like that, of Dirge and uh, Ramjet, you know, that kind of thing. But And so there's a hat tip to Ramjet, there's the tip, hat tip to, you could say, double cone heads. <laughs> But then that's also the, the little things that's always behind the heads on most Transformer jet figures. And uh, if you have not got this guy, I uh, hope this has helped you decide to get it. The tempo is really clean. All the paint work that was paint is clean on that. And I just love the detailing. Uh, it really pops. And uh, it might even pop more if I was to go back and panel on it. But I don't have a lot of patience for that after I did my uh, Devastator. I'd panel line. It was one of the first ones I panel lined, and I felt it needed that to pop. But uh, I'll get him out here and the uh, other combiners I got and get them eventually reviewed as well. Uh, I think Devastators with Combiner Wars. And then uh, there was a. I got I got uh, Power of the Primes uh, Predaking, and I'm missing one there somewhere. But uh, anyhow, uh, these are most excellent jet modes that the Titan Return line had. If you like this video, please smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, uh, ring that doorbell for more notifications as I keep getting closer and closer to my 50th uh, video review. Please tune in and watch that one as well. And I'm trying to uh, do something special there. Thanks again for watching my videos. Thanks again to all who subscribe and subscribe it. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Thank you so very, very much. Thank you for anyone that's watching and comments on my videos. You guys don't know how much fun this really is for me. And I'm hoping that this will take off and this is how I will get to go to shows and do stuff like the other guys do and get to meet them one day, meet you guys one day. And uh, like I said, until all are one, please, uh, Keep visiting, keep looking, and never, ever, ever really grow up. It's all over one. Thank you again.